Hey, welcome back. In this episode, we're going to learn about the concept of pipelines in DevOps, which includes build automation and continuous integration, test automation, deployment automation, etc. My name is Sushant Sutish, and I am your trainer for this AZ400 Azure DevOps Engineer Certification course. So, without wasting any more time, let's get into it. Now let us start with understanding the concept of pipelines in DevOps. The core idea is to create a repeatable, reliable, and incrementally improving process for taking software from concept to customer. The goal of it is to enable a constant flow of changes into production via an automated software production line. Think of this as a pipeline. The pipeline breaks down the software delivery process into stages. Each stage is aimed at verifying the quality of new features from a different angle to validate the new functionality and prevent errors from affecting your users. The pipeline should provide feedback to the team and visibility into the flow of changes to everyone involved in delivering the new features. A typical pipeline will include the following stages build automation and continuous integration, test automation, and deployment automation. Now, let us look into what is build automation and continuous integration. The pipeline starts by building the binaries to create the deliverables that will be passed to the subsequent stages. New features implemented by the developers are integrated into the central code base on a continuous basis, built and unit tested. This is the most direct feedback cycle that informs the development team about the health of their application's code. The second stage is test automation. Throughout this stage, the new version of an application is rigorously tested to ensure that it meets all desired system qualities. It is important that all relevant aspects, whether functionality, security, performance, or compliance, are verified by the pipeline. The stage may involve different type of automated or initially at least manual activities. And the third stage is deployment automation. A deployment is required every time the application is installed in an environment for testing. But the most critical moment for deployment automation is rollout time. Since the preceding stages have verified the overall quality of the system, this is a low risk setup. The deployment can be staged with the new version being initially released to a subset of the production environment and monitored before being completely rolled out. The deployment is automated, allowing for reliable delivery of new functionality to users within minutes if needed. And your pipeline needs platform provisioning and configuration management. The deployment pipeline is supported by platform provisioning and system configuration management, which allows teams to create, maintain, and tear down complete environments automatically or at the push of a button. The next stage is orchestrating it all, which means release and pipeline orchestration. The multiple stages in a deployment pipeline involve different groups of people collaborating and supervising the release of the new version of your application. Release and pipeline orchestration provides a top level view of the entire pipeline, allowing you to define and control the stages and gain insight into the overall software delivery process. By carrying out value stream mappings on your releases, you can highlight any remaining inefficiencies and hotspots and pinpoint opportunities to improve your pipeline. These automated pipelines need infrastructure to run. The efficiency of this infrastructure will have a direct impact on your effectiveness of the pipeline. That concludes this lesson. In the next episode, we're going to learn about Azure Pipelines. So I will see you on the next one. Until then, take care.